And we're back, and Haley and I are in the studio with Dean Veltman from Veltman Painting. Dean, thanks thank for being here. Yeah, thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first time that you're back with video here. I know. That was a little intimidating. <laughs> yeah. We're experts at it now. You well, can tell. My wife sorta. is very upset that I shaved my beard yesterday. I had to get a haircut and reset everything. She's like, you're going to be on video, and now, no, this is just bad. She didn't it's like the new look. She prefers the beard, yes. She does not like it when I shave. No, I get that. Like, whenever my husband goes down to, you know, nice, cleanly shaven, I'm like, who are you? Yeah, yeah that's kind of the reaction I got yesterday. No, you know? I get it. I, I did a big beard, and I'm starting it again. And remember when I came yes, back in? Was I was trying to trim it one day okay. at home, mm -hmm. and I just kept taking more off. And I, <laughs> it's still not right. And eventually I thought, oh, no. That's kind of where it ended up for me yesterday, too, because I got the haircut, and you kind of mm -hmm. have to reset so it's all yeah. even. And it just well, it's like, you know what? I just have to start over. Yeah. I got done, and I thought, well, I hate what I've got now, and there's no fixing. It. And then I thought, I'm going to walk in and Haley's going to just, she's going to be upset. She's already told me that she can't handle the big changes. Yeah. And you walked in and you go, well, great. <laughs> now, and then she literally said, well, now I've got to look at that all day long. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. It's very difficult. It's a, it's a big change. Well, okay. Well, all well, at once. That is important, but it is not critical. So we're going to move on to more critical information. <laughs> and Dean, we want to talk about decks. I know it's fall. Fall is still a good time to get a deck done. Right. You know, as long as, you know, we haven't headed into the, the rainy part yet and we're still okay. The temperatures are great for doing a deck right now. Yeah, If definitely. you would decide to do that. And one of the things that we always try to convey, and I don't know, I, I think we do a really good job conveying that expectations are everything with a deck coating. Yes. But... It's always good to get somebody who's an outside opinion. Mm -hmm. Dean, you don't specialize necessarily in decks, but you do a fair amount of them, yeah, right? Exactly. Yep. Okay. So let's talk about that. Expectations. You know, I think when we paint a space in our homes, right. we realize this is going to be good. As long as I like the color, I'm going to be happy with this for years and years and years and years. Right. I'm not going to have to break this stuff out and do this room again for a long time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But with the deck... I think we, we take that same idea into that, but that's really not what plays out. We don't get near the time out of a deck coating, and it's very important to understand that going in. I think you have run into a fair amount of this. Yeah, definitely. Typically, what I recommend to my customers and my general guidelines for deck maintenance is that you're looking at, you know, if you stain your deck this year, you know, say you do your floorboards and your spindles, you know, you do all of it with, mm -hmm. uh, we usually recommend a semi-transparent, translucent stain, you know, something you can see the wood grain through, but it soaks into the wood, lets the wood breathe. Yeah. Um, you know, and then what you're looking at is typically, it depends on your exposures and how your deck wears, how much you use it. But generally, every other year you do your horizontals, and then every other time you do the deck, you do the verticals as well, because the vertical stuff just doesn't get as much wear and tear. Yeah. Yeah. It can vary, though. I mean... Does your deck face north? Well, then it might not wear as fast from sun, but you might have more and more mold and mildew and more cleaning to do. You know, And sometimes sun can cook that finish off of a deck if you don't have any shade and it gets really hot. If you have a hot tub, you know, a lot of foot traffic in specific areas, you know, and all of those things do show. Yeah, it's funny how much your environment plays in. Like you said, is it full sun? It's mm -hmm. going to bake the deck and those coatings might fail a little bit faster or fade faster at least. Mm -hmm. And then if you've got full shade or if you've got a ton of trees overhead, too, like I have, I know that, you know, the longer those leaves sit on the deck, now I'm risking staining happening from those leaves, too. So there's all of these variables that play out based on our environment and our decks that I think we just don't anticipate. Right. And I think, you know, going back to what I started with, I have a lot of leaves on the deck and I know that's going to happen. Yeah. And what they do is they stain Yep. that coating, or, or at least they make it really dirty. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I can clean it off to some extent, but it is disappointing, really disappointing. Right. If that's your situation, fall is probably not the best time to do your deck because you're sure. going to do that and it's going to sit with all the leaves from fall as that comes down and then sit with snow and all that. And by spring, chances are you're going to be really disappointed with, with what you've got. So that's one expectation right off the bat. If you're dealing with a lot of leaves yeah. in your space and you understand that on your deck, Wait till spring to redo it. If you don't have that problem, you can have good results. But, yeah, you got to be aware of all of that stuff. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And we, you know, like we used to have a walnut tree at our house and those things stain 
a lot of things. <laughs> Got cut down this year. <laughs> Very happy about that. <laughs> Did you get squirrels from the walnut tree? Oh, and, oh! Did we have squirrels? And, and they're the mean ones, <laughs> they're right? The mean the, ones. Oh, the red squirrels. Do they? Well, the little ones. Ours, no matter what kind of squirrels they are, mm. I don't differentiate. They're just squirrels. But ours get mean. The minute yeah. there's nuts in the tree, yeah. like if we're outside, they will literally throw them on us. Did you have any we, of that? We were not assaulted by squirrels. We did we not have not that. Assaulted. We were not. Well, maybe thankful. it's just personal. <laughs> yeah, maybe I've always they just don't like you. Told the kids it's not personal. It's just squirrels doing squirrel stuff. But maybe it is personal. It could be. <laughs> when I guess we I can't blame them. When we moved in five years ago, we had an old shed in the back that we tore down and rebuilt. But the amount of walnuts that were Hoarded inside that thing was oh my ridiculous, gosh. you know. And the first year we moved in was a heavy year of walnuts. And uh, I don't know if it was a chipmunk or a red squirrel, but sometimes in the middle of the night, we would hear something rolling a walnut <laughs> bet- <laughs> through the floorboards underneath our master bedroom where we were sleeping. You just hear a walnut rolling oh, back and forth across the floor. So and it was only bowling. that year. So, yeah. yeah, that's kind of what it sounded like. And it's like, we haven't had that sense, thankfully. And, you know, so hopefully that problem is done. And the well, big wal- the tree's wow. gone. But so. there is a small walnut tree and our neighbors have walnut trees. So there's still plenty of walnuts around, but at least they're a little further yeah, away exactly. and not as many. Yeah. So that would stain the deck <laughs> That can stain the deck, like our cement patio. I mean, it cleaned up all right, but like that would land on our cement patio area. And yeah, that would stain quite a bit. Yeah, it's just and, disappointing. Yeah. Now, what do you think about solid color stains? We're in the studio with Dean Veltman yeah. from Veltman Painting, mm-hmm. talking about deck coatings. You, your favorite is a semi-transparent or a translucent. Now, yep. we yep. something normally, like a natural wood stain color. You yeah, know. we yep. defer, differentiate a little further. We've got uh, our deck and dock, which is a translucent, right. very little color, but it gives you UV protection. Mm-hmm. A really great product to work with. Mm-hmm. And then a semi-transparent stain has a little more uh, color in yes, it. Yes, exactly. And there's pluses and minus. Now, a yep. solid color is the next step up, or at least several several more yep. steps up. What do you think about those? Um, it kind of depends. Um, typically, I do not advise that, but I do have some friends that have had good luck with it on their uh, their decks. But what they do with it is they redo it every year, or if they notice that it's peeling, they scrape it, sand it, and just reapply it right away. They don't expect to not do something Mm. with it every year with a solid color coating. Um, What I've seen is solid color decks are more likely to peel in a big way. You know, not just a little bit here or there, but if you keep up on it, it can be done. But if I see decks with major problems, it's usually solid color ones um, or ones that have, I'm really not a fan of those big, thick, high build deck coatings. Um, Yeah. I've they seen, just don't breathe. No, they don't breathe, and it seems like once your wood doesn't breathe, even if you get it to stick and not peel, sometimes it seems like the wood almost rots out underneath the coating even if it doesn't wow. breathe. But often I've seen them peel quite a bit too. You know, I kind of feel like for those ones, it's like if you know your deck is shot, you just right. don't have the money to replace it yet, and you feel like you have no other options – Go ahead and give it a try, but it's not what I would steer people to first usually. You know, it's kind of like a last resort. You're just trying to buy another year because your deck looks old and it's time to be replaced, but you just don't want to do it yet. Yeah, and that's usually what we're recommending when we talk about solid color stains is that type of situation. You know, you're just trying to get another couple years out of the deck, and at that point it looks really stained, the wood is not in good shape, and you're kind of just putting a solid color over it to hide everything essentially right. mm-hmm. and it's just so important to understand that that is going to peel right yeah. it's going to need maintenance and like you said you've got friends who go in with that understanding mm-hmm. and it works just fine because it meets their expectations right. that's yeah. what i expect that right. i'm not disappointed it's the people who go in thinking hey 15 years from now maybe we'll think about doing that again <laughs> yeah they're horribly and, disappointed i mean it's probably a good idea too if you're going to do a solid color stain you might want to make sure that there is nothing left of your semi-transparent or translucent stains because i think that can cause adhesion issues beyond your normal moisture peeling issues because those other stains soak into the wood and then mm-hmm. you're solid on top you just don't know how that's going to work if that's going to want to bond or not so it's right. better to either have it be raw wood with nothing left on it or to strip that stuff off first probably before you do it definitely be stop in with pictures or anything like that at any yes. rep collider port city paints if you've got questions you know if you've got an existing product on the deck before you switch to something mm-hmm. else we probably want to have a conversation and Absolutely. figure out the best plan forward now I know you mentioned that you do some condos. Yeah. And 
that's on a how how many year Those rotation? Those are on a every six year rotation. Which, how does that work out for you? That's not <laughs> that's not long, close soon enough for decks and stuff. And so no. some of the homeowners do stuff in between, which helps, you know. And but one thing we've noticed a little bit with some of the homeowners, they've been staining their decks every year. Okay, and, instead of every other. Yeah, instead of every other. And again, it comes down to how is it wearing. But what we've seen it is it has formed a pretty thick film on it now. And the idea with those kinds of deck coatings, those semi-transparent, translucent ones, it wants to soak into the wood Mm -hmm. so there's no film and then the wood can breathe and then it's not going to want to peel because there's no film to peel. It all soaks into the wood. But when you do it too frequently, now it builds a film and now you have something that can peel. Um, One way I've heard that's a good general rule of thumb too to check if it's ready to be redone is if you sprinkle water on your deck and it beads up, don't stain your deck again. It's yeah. not ready for it. You know, you if the water's still beating, you know, and if you can tell that your deck has formed a film because you've put it on, you know, then it's going to have to be stripped down and start over because those stains aren't meant to build a film. Now, we do have uh, multiple ways to get to bare wood again. Yeah. yeah. Benjamin Moore has a number of cleaners that will remove a coating to some sure. extent. Yep. And we also rent out our on-floor machine, which I think if you're doing a deck in the fall, the on-floor machine is the way to go. It'll mm-hmm. sand it down to bare wood, and in the same day, you can apply your deck product right. and be done you know, in, in a handful of hours, and really. it's just so easy to use, too. I think people sound, or it sounds intimidating, mm-hmm. right? People think that it's this giant process that might take forever. It's honestly very easy. It's very quick. You don't have to, I mean, you're barely holding on to the machine. It's not like a... A big right. belt or drum sander where you've got this crazy thing you're trying to control. It's a very easy. Right. Easy to control. It's heavy to get up and where you want it. Sure. That's yeah. always yes. a little bit of an issue. At least the weights used... are – I've used it once, I believe, once or twice. It was a long time ago now, but, you know, it's got those weights that you put mm-hmm. on it and stuff. At least you can carry those individually. It doesn't yes. have to be in one <laughs> one swoop, but, yeah. you know. But it definitely worked for the deck we used it on, you know. I mean, it was a fairly big deck. It had a semi-transparent stain that had to be removed because they were changing colors mm-hmm. pretty tra- dramatically in it. And the – they have those coarse bristle attachments. Exactly. That one worked really well in that. We didn't have to get into like the, the diamond discs or the you know some right. of the other attachments that you guys have for that, you know, to really go aggressively at and, it. Right. And normally on a deck, we, we just use these deck bristles, mm-hmm. which what makes them so cool is if you have raised nail heads or screw heads yeah. or something like that, it just goes right over them. It's not tearing yeah, or anything like that. At all. If you are interested, we've talked about that on floor machine before. You can just head to repcolite.com and we have a chat function right there. Yep. And the guy who runs that chat function, Peter, mm-hmm. actually runs this whole rental program. So you can make arrangements right there, get pricing and all of that if it is something that you're considering. So, Dean, in the last little bit that we've got, mm-hmm. you have partnered with us for this big contest that we're running. Yes. And we actually last week just came out and kind of tweaked our contest a little okay. bit. Previously, originally, it was going to be we had 10 winners from a previous contest that were all working on projects in their home. Okay. Then they're going to post pictures online and that's coming up, you know, before and after shots. Everybody's going to vote on those. Yep. Three of the voters are going to win $150 gift certificates to Benjamin Moore, you know, for, exactly. for Benjamin Moore paint. And that was their incentive for voting. The winner of the contest is going to win a $1,000 home repair, home improvement package from all these different businesses that partnered with us. They choose one of those. They're not going to win one from everyone. I said that. That would be cool. Yeah. (laughs) uh, I I could hear Dean's heart increase, (laughs) heart rate increase. No, it's, it's one of those. You pick one. Well, what we've changed now, and maybe this is news to you, we're going to offer two of those packages. Repcolite's covering the second one. You've pitched in okay. for the first yep. one if they choose yours. But yeah, two winners now. Okay. One of them is going to be a random voter yes. is going to win this packet package. And the other one is going to be one of these 10 winners. Okay, cool. If they go and decide to get you out to their house, okay. what kind of stuff? Just give us a quick rundown of some of the things that you might tackle. Um. Most interior residential painting things we do. I mean, we do kitchen cabinets. We do your normal trim, walls, painting, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, You know, we do some stain and finish work, too. But in a repaint home setting, you know, that's not super common. But, yeah, I mean, we can do cabinet work. We can do trim work, you know, walls, ceilings, that kind of thing. What are you best at? Um, If you say – What's your favorite? Yeah. Oh, that's probably a smarter way to ask that question. (laughs) (laughs) What's my favorite? I like kitchen cabinets from the standpoint of I like there's some on-site and some shop work, you know, to spray Mm -hmm. the doors at our shop. I like doing that, you know. But, I mean, 
you know, really I enjoy, you know, going in and just changing the color in a few ro- rooms or updating a home's look, you know, sure. across the board, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, really, I like all things on that side of it. You know? So if either of our winners choose you, mm-hmm. you'll just kind of walk them through. You'll have a conversation with yeah. them and you'll figure out where they want to go with things. Yeah, exactly. And kind of figure out with, you know, with the with the value of the package and all that, what might be the most bang for their buck or how far they can go towards this or that. You know, if they have some ideas, we can kind of figure out what what will meet their needs the best all right. perfect mm-hmm. all right anything else that kind of wraps it up that wraps it up uh dean if our listener I, well, how busy are you do you want to give out your contact info um <laughs> <laughs> we're still pretty busy trying to wrap up exterior season which thankfully the wrap up is going fairly well it's going a lot later than i wanted it to sure. during the year um but we are probably booked until after the holidays for interior so if people are looking for stuff you know after after new year's uh you know that's kind of where we're starting to start look at putting stuff into the schedule. All right. If they want to get in touch with you, how's the best way? Probably just go to our website at veltmanpainting.com and you can fill out the contact form there. All right. Dean Veltman from Veltman Painting, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Dean.